Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Angels in Politics broadcast, and I am your host. Well, of course, I try not to be your host. I try to be as limitless as possible, so I refrain from any sort of titles. But I am the creative and artistic manifestation of Angels in Politics, the White Collar Goon. Remember, you are the news, so you should be excited about that. And uh, have you had your dinner? What about your lunch? If you're fasting, that's fine. If you're fasting, that's fine. I haven't gotten on the fast just yet, but it is coming, and I'm low-key psyched about it because I'm ready to strip my body away from the excess um, cells and, and, and molecules and just weight that is weak, that is... Um, that is unnecessary, that is holding me back, so to speak. And uh, during the fast, only the strong survive, for sure. That's what happens during the fast. And um, I'm ready to be as strong as possible. Tell me what's going on with you, okay? Let me know how your day is going, um, what's new with you. And um, we can have that back and forth dialogue, all right? I would like to let you know this. So, boom. I received a question, um, and nobody asked me this outright, but I believe this was on somebody's um, conscience. Somebody had just put this out there in the air, and I received that. Um, but somebody said, hey, what do you do? What would you consider... What steps would you consider taking in place or putting in place to become more attractive to the opposite sex? All right. And that's a really good question. Thank you for that person who was thinking that. Um, and I would like to preface this by saying, one, I, I don't have, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't have all of the answers and the answers may not even apply to you, um, even though I think this is, um, you know, the best step moving forward, um, because I feel like it's going to be forever, it's, it's, it's forever gonna, uh, going to uh, evolve, and there's going to be a number of iterations on how you can improve your, or enhance your attractiveness, or increase your market value, your sexual market value. And you you can be attractive without being sexual, of course, but your market value amongst the opposite sex, that's what I mean by sexual market value. Um, there are things that will always need to be, um, there will be constant iterations on, as a woman, there will be constant iterations as a man to improve, to enhance, to develop, your 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 attractiveness or your attraction or your uh, your all-encompassing uh, disposition to the opposite sex um, that will lead to you having a higher market value somebody who is uh, valued more or highly or sought out sought after more so than others and um, my answer to that is it starts with here all right it starts here I know uh, some people may presume oh get yourself a nice tan be tall dark and handsome be um, dye your hair blonde or something you know something silly like that and and for some people that I mean like yeah I think some people like that type of stuff but for the most part I would say it starts with the attitude it starts with perspective all right, uh, like shifting the paradigm as to how you see yourself, because how you how you see yourself, how you view life, your outlook determines everything, right? Because you are the host, um, you're the source, you are you are you are the frequency tower, and you're emitting or conveying the radioactive waves or rays or you're, you're putting out those 
Do you see me throwing that out? You're, you're, you're putting out the, the vibrations and people are connecting to it. People are dialing into it. People are attuning to it. So it's, it's just like that. I mean, when you walk and you talk and you have a presence, people respond to it and it resonates with individuals. And this is gender neutral. This is this is for the women who have more of the solar energy, uh, as well as the as the men who are a bit more lunar. And a lot of the times we have, uh, if you do your studies, you'll find that the lunar energy is a bit more associative or associated with uh, feminine energy. The, the, you can stare at the moon. You can look at the moon. The moon isn't as daunting. It it, it isn't as vibrant. It isn't as intimidating. Um, it's not as bright, and I don't mean bright as, as intelligence. I mean, women are, are, are brilliant. Um, but I, I would say the moon doesn't have the same size. It's not as prominent as as the sun is or as the solar energy is and how we, uh, how the world rotates, the planets rotate, the solar system um, is it, it you know orbits around the sun so we, we have a lot of emphasis on on the solar energy and a lot of those times we we place that with men um, even though it may not always be true because there's a lot of guys who aren't that bright uh, powerful domineering um, you know just uh, that that presence that that has people in orbit around them you know they, they there's a lot of guys who aren't like that and there are a lot of women who who are like that but they have to suppress it because they feel like being being maybe loud being someone with with presence being someone who's very intelligent and is very assertive and and somebody who's who's sure of herself and somebody who is didactic and somebody who is uh, very intellectual, somebody who is goal oriented or career oriented or, uh, or, or solution based and very focused. A lot of that time or a lot of uh, previously in the past, uh, women may have felt that that those traits weren't weren't indicative of femininity they they didn't exemplify femininity it wasn't seen as something that was attractive and it and it 100 percent is you just have to realize who you're standing next to right because if you're standing next to a male or, or if you're presenting yourself in front of uh women and and and, and males who aren't operating on the same uh you know, thought patterns are our frequencies are they're not vibrating at the same level that you're vibrating. If 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 you're if they're not able to attune or tune themselves in to your to your frequency tower, to, to your to your energy, to your waves, then uh, they're gonna feel some kind of way. And there are people who might feel like somewhat uh, inferior or subservient or 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 lower than you and they might still be attracted to it but particularly in the women's case if you kind of belittle a guy or, or you come across as intimidating because of your intelligence and your brilliance and your presence um a lot of men not all men but many men find that as an unattractive quality um because they want to be the ones in charge they want to be the one who who's in control they want to be the one who feels like oh she has she listens to me and she needs me. Um, so to, to go back, in order for you to be more attractive across the board, I would say, first, know thyself. And knowing thyself is not an easy task. There's a lot of people who feel like, oh, I, I'm, I'm me and I've been me for the past 30 plus years, 40 plus years, 20 plus years. Oh, I know myself like the back of my hand. Chances are you don't know everything. You, you have to go deep inwardly intrinsic uh, intrinsically and 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 bring about those those thoughts and those ways of of, of behaving those uh, those multiple personalities though those faces we have multiple faces there there you have faces that are are somewhat um, locked away boxed boxed in because you know that you might not like to show that face and that's your shadow self and some of our shadows 
some of, some of us are dealing with uh, personal uh, demons and and I don't really like to call them demons because they have negative connotations well if there are demons within you understand that there are angels within you and you want to be able to fight those demons you you want to you want to be able to slay those dragons you want to be able to face the leviathan head on and the leviathan and the dragons and the demons that's not just some way to uh to externalize the blame or to uh abdicate responsibility and say oh you know these are the bad people the demons are over there the the, the darkness is 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 outside of the church walls and 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 the the leviathan is is on the other side or that you know where where i don't believe in that political preference or i don't believe in that orientation or i don't believe in in those thought patterns or it's overseas when i don't know what's going on over there or it's or it's, it's something that i don't know that's not where the darkness is it's all here it's all here it's all within you, right? And you have to learn how to deal with your inadequacies. You tackle your insecurities. You face your fears. And each time you do that, each time you go off into the darkness, and the darkness isn't necessarily the forest. It's, it's not walking off into a cliff. The, the, the darkness is closing your eyes and sitting upright with your, with, with your back straight and taking a deep breath and saying, Oh, mm. It can be that. The darkness can be opening up the, the, the scripture, the Bible, the Torah, the Quran, and, and, and going through those scriptures. It could be reading the the, the Yoga Sutras by Pentajali and, and, and reading those those verses and taking time to learn and apply it and, and, and dissect it and deconstruct it and see where that, that applies to your life and integrate it and change behaviors and change thought patterns. That's kind of that's step one, knowing thyself. Awakening your superpowers. You're all blessed with spiritual gifts, innate gifts that are that are indicative to you, that makes you original, that 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 that, that makes you an asset, that makes you uh, a person in which, and mind you, while whilst I'm speaking, the solar energy is rising, rising, uh, and it's and it's is getting stronger now as I'm speaking to you. And that's not anything to do with me. That's because God is 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 informing you that you have a volcano. Uh, 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 an un uh, uh, I guess it's a what is it called whenever a, a volcano hasn't erupted yet? It's a, it's maybe stagnant. It's it's maybe it's uh it's maybe um it's it's, it's inactive right now. It's, it's, it's dormant right now. That's where it's at right now. But your potential, your creativity, your personality, your powers, it is, it is, it is tight and it's, and it's constricted and it's inactive right now. But the more you go into yourself, you, 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 you are able to unlock that coiled serpent energy, which is, uh, which is your power, which is the Kundalini energy. And as it's... As it activates and as it spreads and as it permeates through your vessel, it will it will go into your emotional body, your spiritual body, your social body, your psychological and cognitive body. It will explode through the crown chakra. You will be able to receive universal downloads. You will be operating in a way that you have never comprehended. You will be able to articulate yourself in ways that are unimaginable, unthinkable. You, you're you're going to be unstoppable. That's what's going to happen, and, and the way you can uh, expedite this process is by reading good books. It's going to be by writing things down, what, what, you, what you glean and what you extract from those books. It's going to be from speaking those things into existence. It's going to be, you know, continuing, taking time out of your day to journal, to type a few things, type a page a day, write down a page a day, do something, always have a book on your shelf. You don't have to read Infinite Jest front to back. You could just bit by bit but that's how you level yourself up become articulate learn how to formulate your thoughts learn how to speak clearly know how to make a clear and concise and comprehensible message and and, and be and be succinct and be and be candid and be grounded in history and knowledge that is how you become attractive awaken your powers that is how you step into the light Namaste.
नमस्कार